There are various kinds of track types in Logic, but I just want to talk about three. We really only have audio, software instrument, and drummer. Something I do want to say about drummer is that it really is just a MIDI software instrument in disguise. So let's look at the program. Number one, audio tracks. Number two, software instrument MIDI tracks. Number three, drummer tracks. And then you might be saying, hey, what is this? What is the step sequencer? Well, this is new to 10.5, 10.6. And just like Drummer, it really is just a software instrument in disguise. This is a new way to input MIDI data. If I control click the Drummer region and I hover over Convert, you can see that I can convert this to MIDI. Same goes for the step format. Same goes for the pattern format. If I click and go to Convert, I can access Convert to MIDI region and then I can access, and then I can edit these within the piano roll as I normally would. All right, so let me break this down from scratch. Audio, we can record this in by way of an interface. We can record a guitar, a bass, our vocal. We can record somebody playing. Lots of options here. Something else that you can do is drag in a pre-made loop inside of the loop browser. This can also be third party. But if I wanted to drag in a loop or a sample, this is another way that we can utilize audio tracks. Now bear in mind, we don't necessarily have to drag it into a specific audio track. If nothing is on the screen, then I can go ahead and just drag this in to an empty area and Logic will know that they want to create an audio track and hence that's what it just created. The same goes for software instrument tracks. These are sounds that we are going to utilize from the library. Do you remember I told you the key command Y? These are all of Logic sounds. Well, these are the sounds that we will be pulling from. Now, this is something that we can play in ourselves and we can designate by looking at the GUI of the specific plugin and searching through all the subcategories and genres. You can play this in yourself, right? Hit record, start to play that in, or you can drag in MIDI loops to fit the format. So I'll drag in Electro Ascension Beat right on top of Alchemy, and let's see what happens. Well, not only did the icon change here, but we can also see clearly that it actually changed the instrument. So now we are looking at a software instrument that's called Drum Kits, and so we will hear a beat here. Check it out. So you have to be aware of that if you're ever going to insert a MIDI loop into an existing software instrument, just know that it's going to supersede it, the current choice. So if you ever want to do something like that, you might want to do a hack, something like drag it in to the track below and to maintain alchemy on this track, you can just drag the loop and then just kind of swap it out. And so this is one way to be able to utilize this um, so you're not necessarily replacing the software instrument in question. Now let's look at Drummer. Again, this is something that can automatically be created by means of the new tracks dialog window. We can go into track, create new tracks. There's also a corresponding key command. So you can insert a drummer track. I like to constantly open this up because it gives me the option and so drummer you choose the necessary genre and then logic will start to make music on its own it's really remarkable uh, all dependent on the genre your bpm you have arrangement markers on your tracks and so this is one way of doing it 
Another way is going through the loop browser, finding the necessary drummer loop, and then dragging it in as we've done before. Now, something that we should look at is I have Kyle set up with this specific drum set. And if I drag in Aiden, I wonder if it's going to replace Kyle. And you can see that it has. So be aware of that workflow. Uh, this may be the kind of thing where if you want Anders, for example, maybe you are going to want to drag this in up here so you can still utilize Aiden's sensibilities. Now, did that change appropriately? Let's check that out. Yeah, that seems to be working and in good standing. So instead of this drum beat, we get the ever so aggressive Anders and it's going to sound more like this. And that's because Anders' usual style sounds like this. Okay, so up to date, I've showed you audio, I've showed you software instrument, and I've showed you drummer. But I did not necessarily show you the pattern format. And that's simply because it is just a software instrument. So remember, this is not a new track. I can't go into the new tracks dialog window and select a pattern track. It simply does not exist. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up a drum set. So we'll go into software instrument and I'll pull up the new drum synth by Logic. All right. I have the option of using the traditional MIDI the traditional MIDI format. And I can start to play that in with my MIDI keyboard. I can use the musical typing keyboard. There's other ways to input the data. But Logic just came out with a new format, a new way of inputting MIDI notes. If I control click on the track lane and I select create pattern region, check this out. Now I have the ability to insert notes manually, which is a lot easier because it's doing all the computing for me. I don't have to think about snap. I don't have to think about nudge. It's all just right in front of me. Check this out. So you can play this in yourself. You can create the MIDI data manually, or you can go into the Apple loop browser, drag in a loop. In this case, I'm going to select an empty area inside of the tracks area, and you will see that this is now populated with a new melodic pattern. I'll tell you what, let's do the same thing for track number one. At the moment, it currently has drum synth. What happens when I drag a beat over this, does it supersede the patch? Let's find out. Yes, it does. So this is something that you want to be wary of. I just want you to be aware. I want you to know how things are happening and of course when they are happening. So here is the pattern here. All right, here is the melodic pattern, and it's important for you to understand that this isn't something that you only use for creating drum beats. If for whatever reason you wanted to change the drum beat, you would double click on the pattern format. You can also click it one time and hit E to access the editor, the step sequencer editor in this case, and you just start to change anything that you feel is calling you. So for example, you want to hear a couple more kicks, uh, you want to hear less hi-hats at the end of the pattern, and perhaps an open hi-hat here and there. Let's take a listen. I hope this video has given you a better sense of how to use the various track types in Logic Pro. Remember that there are really only two formats, audio and MIDI, but within the software instrument track type, we can use software instruments, drummer, and the new and improved 
pattern format. All right, guys, when I see you in the next video, we're going to cover creating tracks in Logic Pro. I'll see you then.